So, hello, my name is Camilo Payan, and I'm here on behalf of the Board of Directors of Tequeria. So I just wanted to express first and foremost my deep, deep gratitude for all of you for being here as part of the Latinx Heritage Month Summit and for being part of the Tequeria community. Now, first, I would like to thank our sponsors who helped put this event on. Oh, yes, Ellie, yes, there are we're going to be recordings of the sessions. We'll be uploading them to our YouTube channel over the next uh, little while. So yeah, first things first, I wanna thank our sponsors who helped put this event on and whose partnership is absolutely welcome to advance our collective efforts. So big thanks to Medalia, to Doximity, and to our government partner, the Technology Transformation Services Department from the US General Services Administration. Take a moment to connect with them during and after the summit, support them as they support our community, they're just as committed as we are in assuring the progress of our community. Also, I wanted to thank all the volunteers who helped put this on, all the panelists, especially, who came in with different discussion subjects and helped organize panels so that we could have a really well-rounded conversation on all of these interesting topics. I know I learned a lot. And these kinds of panels are gonna generally benefit the community and it also helps each of us know who to talk to going forward from here. Finally, I also wanted to thank the organizers who have done so much to get this event off of the ground. So that includes some of our board members like Audrey Gallo and Marco Lopez, who have been working very hard on these partnerships and laying the foundation for future summits and future work. And of course, our events director, you've seen her during this whole summer, Alexis de Jesus, who has just been killing it. She was dominating this whole event. Anything that needed to get done, she was ready to do it. Just fantastic work. So a huge thank you to everybody. Gracias, obrigada. Messi en pile, thank you very much. So as we get to the end of the summit, it's a time to reflect on the changes that have gone on in the Tequeria community in the last year. We welcomed many new board members, including myself, who, uh, for, to give you a little background on myself, I was a chapter director for Tequeria in Miami, as well as a software developer my whole career. Audrey Gallo, who brings a wealth of nonprofit experience. Marco Lopez, who brings a strong marketing viewpoint. Claudia Cristina, who brings a deep tech industry perspective, and Angel Salvestrini, who was previously the chapter director for Tequeria in Boston and also brings invaluable legal expertise because he's a lawyer. <laughs> we also saw some board members move on and we thank them for all of the hard work that they've done in the previous year. So those are Annelise Hagar Preciado, Cristal Solman, and Chloe Potsklen Matute, who is also still a chapter director for New York City. We wish them all the best of luck and of course, they all know that this community will be there for them, just like they worked hard to maintain this community. We also say goodbye to Jasmine Gonzalez, who was the executive director of Tequeria, and definitely thank her for all the hard work that she did creating so many partnerships and opportunities for the community. And we wish her all the best of luck in her next endeavor. This last year has been marked by a lot of activity in the community, both by the nonprofit to provide new programs and in the community itself. So we've had over 40 events this last year with all sorts of different companies, members of the community, representatives from our partner orgs and other professionals to help educate and uplift the community as much as possible on all sorts of topics throughout the year, like personal finance with Miguel Gomez, like negotiating your compensation with Bedivia Ramirez, and like building your strategic leadership skill set with Steve Morin from Asana. All of those are on our YouTube channel and I encourage you to check them out. They were really great. We've had a long-standing partnerships with different companies, but most importantly, with all the other organizations that are fellow travelers on this journey to create equity and diversity in the tech industry. For example, if you haven't had a chance to check them out, we've been collaborating with Blacks in Technology for a regular career fair, help people get jobs in this, in this industry. All of these connections are extremely important, not only to grow our community, but also to grow our impact in the tech industry. Inside the community, we have had a huge uptick in the number of cafecitos that have been happening. And so to explain, these are when a subject channel in our Slack takes initiative and creates a regular virtual event, community driven, giving those channel members a forum to talk about their issues in a specific subject. And sometimes they'll also bring in speakers or panelists in order to have these more focused kinds of uh, conversations. A great example is a UX cafecito the, on user experience design that has been led by Brenda Hoyle. We've also had cafecitos on subjects like Afro-Latinidad, marketing, talent acquisition, and information security, and others. 
My power is flickering. <laughs> we have also had activity this year in the chapters that are still operating. So there are happy hours going on in New York City, which there's one going on in a little bit, get togethers in San Francisco, co-working days in Miami, game nights in Austin, and hangouts in Atlanta. It's great. The most important thing about this community is the community itself. Since the last time we had a summit, over 3,000 people have joined the conversation in our online community. Community is built in our daily interactions. And that means that we need to get together. We need to experience each other in these group settings, whether it's online in the Slack, where we have all these great conversations, or it's in person at chapters, or it's in smaller online settings that are more focused, like the cafecitos. All of that is important. All of it matters. And all of it will help us continue to grow this community and help each other in our careers in the tech industry. There's also meetups in DC. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. So take a moment, you know, and just think about it and enjoy that you are a part of this. Enjoy that you have a part in building this important space for all of us. That said, we should also be aware of the challenges this year brought that are affecting our community, both as people who work in tech and people who are Latin American. Immigration policy in the United States still does not put people first. And we've seen a continuation of abuses at the border, a disturbing use of immigrants of, of people as political pawns, and the continued attack on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program in the courts. While immigration policy doesn't necessarily directly affect all of us, the racism that underlies it does. That's what makes it so hard to be Latinx in this country, to have the skills and to have the expertise and still not be able to get a job. We've also seen underinvestment in Latin American communities in the US, most recently and seriously in Puerto Rico, where many are still without power and still without clear avenues to receive food and water after Hurricane Fiona. You can find places to donate and help in the Slack where folks have been sharing organizations that are in PR that you can send money and donations to, as well as in their local communities that are working to send aid. Turning to our industry, the tech industry, we've seen a large amount of layoffs as financial conditions change in the country. According to layoffs at FYI, over 80,000 people have been laid off from tech startups this year. Hiring freezes at the largest tech companies have become normal. Diversity reports for 2022 show some progress at the largest tech companies and a lot of commitments are being made, which is good. But the fact is that according to Zipia, employment of Latin Americans in the tech industry sits at 8% of the tech workforce, which is under by a lot than nearly 14% in other industries. So what does this mean? How do we turn these challenges into goals for us as a community? One of the things that keeps people out of this industry when they aren't cis white men is that they don't have a sense of belonging. We here in this community are that sense of belonging. By continuing to build connections and to build our TQ network, we are creating a place where Latin Americans belonging in tech is a given, it's our right. No one can tell you that because of your heritage, because of your name or because of an accent or whatever reason they pull out that you don't belong in this industry. You do, you do belong in this industry. You belong in this industry doing this work and getting your piece of the incredible riches that are being created through technology. Technology is part of our cultural heritage as human beings. And when technology creates new ways of working and new ways of building wealth, that belongs to us as much as it does anyone else. So how is Decadia continuing to work to build community? To build a place in tech where we absolutely positively belong? I'll tell you a little bit about what we are working on and what we have planned. Of course, we're going to continue to partner with companies, just like the partnerships that we have now. And we're going to find new partnerships because there will be new companies coming up and new technology to work in, and we will always be in on it. We are gonna be looking for new opportunities for people in the community to figure out what we need as a community and how we can build that together, whether it's focus spaces like the cafecitos, whether it's projects that we work on together or career support that we already do to get people into tech. We're also working hard to build up our local presence in different cities, and recently we reopened applications to become chapter directors. And personally, I was blown away by the response. Dozens of people in cities across the United States volunteered to build up a chapter of Tequeria in their area. Along with our Slack and online community, the chapters are the most important ways that we can get to know each other and that we can build our leadership in every local tech industry. 
together with the chapters in New York City, Miami, Austin, Atlanta, and San Francisco, I'm happy to say that we have volunteers working on new chapters opening up in Los Angeles, in Seattle, in Denver, and in Chicago. Okay, I'm happy about all that. So I hope that you're as excited about the coming year as I am. In the last year and here at this summit, I have met dozens of people across the country who are looking forward to their new careers in tech, who are excited about joining our community and who are hungry to give back after they've found success. So I've got some asks. I'm asking you one, to join Tequeria and stay engaged in our Slack because we are giving each other the playbook to succeed in this industry. Two, find a local chapter or find other interested folks to build a chapter with in the future. Three, join our online events and tell people about them. But the most important thing there is for you to be able to build a larger scale national network that goes well beyond your local pond. Four, if you can, ask your company to match your commitment to building the future of the industry by partnering with and sponsoring Tequeria, sponsoring events, sponsoring a chapter event. Tequeria, this community, will be the most influential organization of tech professionals, bar none, and we will get there together. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming to the summit. Have a great rest of the Heritage Month. Fill it with lots of love, support, and celebration because we love it. Ah, the Florida Panhandle. <laughs> Hello. You're muted. Always muted. Sorry. I'm always doing this. I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone. Everyone, Camilo, that was awesome. I love the playbook. Oof, that Slack is our playbook, and I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Um, that was so cool. And um, yeah, no, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to everyone that came through here today and and yesterday as well. It's been an amazing time, and um, we're just so so happy with everything the way it's turned out. And yes, we are the whole chapter thing. Yes, please, please continue to support your local chapter. It's going to be an amazing time. Um, I'm going to pass off the mic to Audrey real quick too. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you, Alexis. I just wanted to say, first and foremost, um, it was really a pleasure to be a part of this. Uh, for those of you I haven't been able to meet yet, my name is Audrey Gallo, she, her pronouns, um, and I've joined the board of Thicketia along with Camilo and others. Um, and it's been really incredible over the past few months to be able to just like work on bringing this community together. And, and I was a recipient as a member of all of the good things that Tequeria offers. So it's really, truly an honor to be serving to continue to, um, you know, just bring all this momentum and, and good things for, for each one of us. So um, I hope everyone stays connected here. I do want to give a very special shout out to Camilo and to Alexis, who really have been like carrying the weight of this um, in preparation for these special two days. So uh, please just, you know, recognize them and say thank you and share those appreciations. And we're gonna see you all next year here. So you better be ready, better get your dancing shoes on for DJ Sizzle, hopefully she can come back with us. Um, but just really in this spirit and energy, this is so special. And I heard from so many of you of how rare it is to just be in a space like this with your people. Um, and that's that's the unique thing that that we can do. So I'm um, really looking forward to seeing you all again and stay in touch. And again, thank you so much to everyone who made this happen, especially to our sponsors, the rest of our board members, and coming on Alexis. Thanks, y'all. Um, that's it, I guess. <laughs> Love you all very much. It's been a really special two days. Signing off. Bye. That there is also a happy.